Uh, Representative Brown. President voted. Uh, Representative Hahn. Uh, Representative Wang. President voting. To you. Uh, Representative Matthews. <laughs> he's wait. He's not a representative anymore, is he? No. Okay. Uh, Representative In. President voting. Representative Mikowski. Representative Owaputi. President voting. Representative Redensic. President voting. Representative Smith. Representative Dorabeck. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm catching the pattern. Uh, Representative Stephen Lee. Representative Cecilia Lee. Representative Law. Representative Hoffman. Representative Lofton. Representative Cummins. Representative Zoltan. Representative Bernard. Representative Schiller. President Bowden. Representative Beckett. President Bowden. Representative Fernandez. President Bowden. Representative McCachran. President Bowden. Representative Rosenberger. President Bowden. Uh, Representative Irizarry. Uh, Representative Ionetti. President Bowden. Representative Lendell. President Representative Hong. Proxy. Representative Park. Representative McKee. President Representative Schloff. President voting. Representative Gallo. President Representative Sabe. President voting. Representative DeBas. President voting. Representative Fitch. President Representative Singh. President Representative Cruz. President voting. Representative Zhou. Did I say it wrong again? Okay. He's actually not here. Um, <laughs> Representative Grealis. Representative Lee. Leo Lee. Oh, yeah. uh, Skylar Thompson. Uh, Mai Sagawa. Joe Wang. You're here. Uh, Neil O'Brien. Colin Lux. Colin Williams. Speaker Pulaski. Present. Uh, Treasurer Shaw. Um, Treasurer Moser. Uh, Parliamentary and Brubaker. President. <laughs> Vice President Maloney. President Vice President Bell. President Biden. Vice President Hamilton. President Biden. Vice President Downey. President Biden. Vice President Agarwal. President Biden. President Wynn. President Biden. Do we have any guests with us tonight? <laughs> Anyone else? Hi. You can stand and introduce yourself. All right, with that, we'll move into the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, and now on to committee reports. President Wynn. Welcome back to another Tuesday. You're glad you're inside. I am. Um, just a couple of really quick things. Uh, you can just read it there in my report, but um, Hong Kong Volunteer Sheet is going around. Please sign up for uh, the slots that haven't been filled or need more people. Um, we are going to be planning an administrative event. I believe it's going to be administ administrative speed dating. Um, mark your calendars for October 12th. This will be in place of GA. So um, you will not be meeting here that week. Uh, we'll be meeting um, somewhere else to have an event with administrators. Um, and then state of, student state of the university address. President Snyder will be giving an address to um, all the students of the uh, university, graduates, undergraduates, uh, all students. So make sure you mark that because that will also count as a mandatory event for representatives. Um, if you need to excuse yourself for any reason from that event, please notify me. Um, and lastly, there is an email about our guest speaker coming in next week. She wasn't able to make it this week, but um, she wanted to invite everyone here to an event this Thursday um, happening in KSL uh, at 11.30 to 2. So uh, go ahead and really quickly read over that. Um, she wanted to invite you guys to uh, that specific event. I am open to points. Any points for President Wynn? 
Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to Vice President Agawar. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. So, um, before or after I wrote this report, I had a couple of meetings and scheduled a couple of meetings. So I met with um, the, our, my counterpart in RHA, the Vice President of Residential Relations, and got some great information from her. I'm not going to tell you everything today, um, but one cool thing I learned today was that uh, in front of Starbucks, that you know that corner where there is some kind of path that people have kind of made on their own that's like in between the mulch and it's really messy and annoying, that whole corner is going to be redone. So it'll be um, more, nicely, more nicely paved so that uh, there's better traffic flow of, of students and people in that area. So that was one great thing I found out today from that meeting. I have a meeting with uh, Vice President Jameson next week. Um, and uh, one highlight from my committee was we had a request from one of our representatives for um, those personal alarms to be given out. Again, they were given out to all students for free for pickup in Wade and for Lee last year, and students wanted them again, so I asked Chief Hardy, and we're gonna get them. So, uh, you know, go get your free alarm and tell your friends to get one too. Also, the student life issue of the week is brought to you by the Spartan Diner. Um, our very own Secretary Moller caught this great image on the, uh, there. Uh, on a Saturday night, I believe, is that correct, Secretary Moller? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna try to remedy this. Um, I love the Spartan Diner, and I think they deserve a bigger trash can after the evening. So yeah, if you see something like that, let me know and we'll fix it because we want to make our campus look pretty. So with that, I'm open to points. Any points for Vice President Agarwal? Okay, seeing none, um, Vice President Downey. All right, not much um, tonight, but I did talk with um, Chris, our contact with Collegiate Link. Um, so if anyone has had uh, timing issues with logging in, we are having a meeting set up between um, ITS at Case and um, Collegiate Link, and they will once and for all resolve this instead of just one side or the other trying to work on it. We're going to bring them both together. Um, nothing else really to report with finance. Um, Kelly will have an exciting update, though, so I'm open to points. Vice President Maloney. The timing issue that Colin is referring to is the issue where when you attempt to log in, instead of saying hi, your first name, it'll say hi, blank, and then um, you won't be able to access any things that require login. And also, um, we're being updated to Collegiate Link System 5 on Friday, as I'll mention in the report, report, and that um, Christian Collegiate Link said that should outright solve the issue. Any other points for Vice President Downey? Seeing none, our treasure, treasurer tip of the week. Uh, okay. Vice President Hamilton. Um, I will be having my meeting Thursday with Vice Prozo, Provost Domfique, and then um, next Friday, uh, President, President Wynn and myself will be talking to the head of the Faculty Senate Dr. Allen will then uh, continuing on these forums related to the common core curriculum, the general education curriculum or requirement or SAGES. Um, we're, the deal is to try to uh, get student input on general education requirement or SAGES. So if you have any uh, opinion on SAGES, which I'm sure you do, these are where you can voice it to the administrators and faculty to either try to maintain the program, improve the program, or get rid of the program. I'm open to points. Treasurer Muller. I'm sorry, Secretary Muller. Was, was there a uh, data time for that? For the stages curriculum in general? Like, there's a lot of data stuff. It's still in the plan planning process. I would probably say that these forums are gonna start in October or November. Okay. Representative Brown. Um, in your report, you mentioned an information silo. What is that? It's basically when people in an organization, such as maybe USG, know a lot of information, and people outside of that organization or silo uh, don't know nearly as much as information about it. 
So this forum is sort of built as a way for students outside of, let's say, USG to learn more about the general education requirement, thus reducing an information silo. Vice President Maloney. So in this analogy, the information is the right? I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> Any other points for the speaker? Seeing none, Vice President Bell. <laughs> Uh, we decorated the office. Other than that, I'm going to yield my time to Representative Dorbeck, and I believe Doug has something to show you. Okay, I can go on without it. All right, so I just wanted to give you guys some updates for homecoming. I know Min had said that uh, to sign up, but I just wanted to give you guys a clear view on what's going on. So we decorated the office today, and tomorrow will be the judging for um, the decorating contest. So hopefully we'll get that pizza party. Um, on Friday, we'll be making decorations for the float, which will, we just found out will be an electric car. Um, so we're going to be promoting sustainability throughout the parade and be wearing our red t-shirts. So for those who participate, we'll be meeting around 9.45. Um, I'll send out an email. I can't remember exactly where we're supposed to meet, but we'll be meeting at 9.45 wearing our red shirts, and then the parade will proceed at 10.30. And then after that, um, we will be going to set up for our hot cider event, which we will have at the game. We'll be passing out hot cider, donuts, and cowbells during the homecoming game. So check out studentaffairs.case.edu slash homecoming um, and check out all the events that you can get involved in. So have fun. Did it come? Representative Lupton. Yeah, so when we're giving out hot apple cider, we're at... Are we giving that? It will be around house seven. House four. House four, sorry. It'll be around house four. We have two coffee pots and we have 15 gallons of cider. And. So outside of house seven? Mm hmm. It'll be in the courtyard area by the picnic tables. Okay, and UPB is using house two to give out pizza and root beer. And root beer. And, and then mistletoe is passing out pie and cider, which we were concerned with. But we are going to, we'll be on the other side, so, and we have cowbells. Okay, so we're, we're okay, everything's set? Okay. Cool. Yeah. Is the speaker aware that Allegheny College's colors are red and white? Oh. Just as a, a knowledge mm. piece. Maybe wear a blue sweatshirt over it. Yeah, or wear blue pants, or like a kilt or something. <laughs> Any other points for the speaker? Thank you, Representative Dorbeck. Right, thank you. Um, Vice President Maloney. <laughs> All right, so my board report is pretty lengthy, um, so you can read it if you're super interested. But basically, um, uh, well, first of all, as Colin said, we're, we're being upgraded to Collegiate Link System 5 this Friday. Um, it should introduce new features, better user interface, and solve our timing issues once and for all. So that's pretty cool. Um, and another exciting thing is that um, two of the at-large representatives from my committee, at-large representative, uh, representatives Tom Duner and Alex Kloss, have begun a new initiative to create a service that will um, allow students to have a long-term, students and student groups to have a long-term solution for hosting websites. And um, the service will also be useful to students who want to maybe test out new technology projects, like maybe make the next Facebook or something. And um, will also be useful to students in classes that require a very specific software setup. So the focus of students in those classes can shift to learning the course material rather than spending a lot of time setting up the software. And um, it'll also be sustainable because it'll basically be a bunch of virtual computers running on a few physical computers, so it'll cut down on electricity usage. And um, we'd also be the first university 
in the country to implement a service such as this, so it would be a way for us to be trailblazers and innovators. So um, uh, I guess look for that resolution to be coming down the pipeline um, in GAs in the near future, um, hopefully next week. And um, yeah, so that's, that's something cool. And also, um, i just uh, like to remind everyone, I'm not sure if I said this last week, that IT committee meetings have been moved to Mondays from 7 to 8 p.m., so just shifted an hour back, um, if anybody would like to attend. Open to points. Any points for Vice President Maloney? Colleen? Um, I was conversing with a staff person tonight who was trying to search for the sponsorship form for exec. And I wondered if that might be placed on the website in the left-hand column as a form to go to directly. Um, I that was loud. Sorry. Um, I think that would go really well under my student group resources heading that I have on, um, under there. It, well, the only thing is, is that it should be it should pop out if it's a form that people have to interact with. I'm just worried that I, I don't. I, and I guess we can talk about it exact, but. The question is, when are, do you guys have to send the form because people don't know how to get to it? Right now, it's buried in exec. Well, it's on the front page of exec. All they do is click on exec, yeah, and it's like right there. You have to know right to exec to find it. You see my point? Right, but I mean, if we put it in any other thing, like unless it was like right in front of them, people That's aren't going to dig. That's why I was thinking on the side. You know how you have links to okay. specific forms, documents, and stuff? Just something to talk about. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other points for Vice President Maloney? Oh, yes. Uh, is Vice President Maloney interested in cooperating with the GSS on co-sponsoring resolution to address this filer issue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any other points? Thank you, Vice President Maloney. Um, we'll move into our parliamentarian tip of the week. I hope it involves business casual attire. I'm sorry, I didn't get the memo was Spartan spirit, not Tartan spirit. My bad. <laughs> so, I heard some confusion last week about how to use a proxy. So we're going to go over that real quick now. A proxy is someone who comes in for a year during GA and will take the place of you as a voting member, as a token member. They have all the powers you do except they're not you. <laughs> All right, so just to remind you, if you're not going to be here, get a proxy, because that absence doesn't count against you. So proxies are good. Use them. Joe Wang, thank you for being a good proxy. I'm open to points. President Wynn. Is one proxy allowed to proxy for two representatives? No. Proxy can only hold... <laughs> <laughs> a proxy may only hold one voting position at a time. So... Tell your friends, they can only be one proxy. Vice President Agarwal. Aye, the proxies should be a member of the constituency which you represent. So engineers, don't get an arts and sciences major to represent you. They don't understand what you do. I don't understand what you do. <laughs> Representative Lupton. Does it, does it explicitly state that a USG representative, uh, so Say somebody else in my constituency wants me to proxy for them. Can I give up my voting rights to uh, take their voting rights so they can stay in your state? So can I proxy for somebody in my own caucus by saying, actually, I'm not here. Count it against me. I'm trying to help them out. Um, Does it explicitly state that you can't do that? Technically, you're allowed to do that. However, it will be an unexcused absence for you, I guess. We'd have to look into that, but no, it does not explicitly say, but I would discourage anyone from doing that. I would really discourage you from doing that. <laughs> Representative Bugat. Um, can you say they can take our land, but they'll never take away our land? <laughs> Any other points for our speaker? Thank you, Parliamentarian Bruce. No. <laughs> um, 
And now for your speaker tip of the week, um, just so you know, things if, if it, it does relate to your heritage, attire such as kilts can be considered business casual, um, as well as business professional if it used in an appropriate setting. Um, so for example, our administrator speed dating would not be an appropriate setting, but if you were to go to a wedding in Scotland, that would be an appropriate setting. Um, but then again, as a reminder, um, jeans are never considered business casual unless they are trouser cut jeans, which is a very specific cut. Um, it's really only a girl thing. So so sorry, fellas. Um, and with that, we'll move into ca caucus reports. Are there any caucus reports? Representative Gallo, you can take the podium. All right, so uh, this uh, last Wednesday, uh, freshman caucus met. Um, the main thing we wanted to do was uh, uh, figure out an outreach event so all the freshmen could uh, mingle with the USG uh, representatives. And so we all agreed on a, a specific outreach event, which I'll talk about in about 20 seconds. But tomorrow, uh, the freshman caucus will be meeting outside of Leutner during the dinner hours uh, from about 5 to 7. Uh, during that time we're going to be passing out flyers along with some candy to uh, help uh, so they can eat the candy while they read the flyer is the idea. I don't know. Um, and now the event. You might be wondering what it is and here it comes. Uh, this Saturday, homecoming game, we're going to be painting faces uh, before the game. So we feel, yeah. <laughs> so the, the way this is going to work is we're going to be painting face, faces outside of Pierce uh, right before the football stadium, pretty much, um, from 11 to 12.30. Uh, this is designed to get people to come and talk to us about their everyday lives. Uh, Topics that might be relevant to USG, uh, try to help distinguish between the different USG, COC, stuff like that, and uh, see if they have any ideas to improve the, si the situation or uh, any problems they may have right now. So the reason I'm telling you guys is because uh, one of the things we discussed about before, well, at our... Uh, whatever camping trip you want to call it. Retreat, that's it. Um, we, decide, we talked about how we wanted people to know who we are, and uh, I feel as if this would be a good event for people to come atten uh, attend, because it's not necessarily just gonna be freshmen coming. I'm sure there's a lot of upperclassmen that go to the games too. So uh, feel, we feel as if this is a good opportunity for all of USG to come say hi to the people that they're representing. And uh, while you're there, you can get your face painted from one of the freshman representatives. Thank you. Representative White. Um, who's the best painter in the freshman office? Um, we haven't really had trials. We haven't, to be determined. It's, yeah, to be determined. Representative Bluffton. How do you plan on advertising? I know at Homecoming there's been a flyer that's been passing around right. that has a bunch of events. Uh, so there's a lot of clutter because there's a lot going on with Homecoming. So how are you going to reach out to the constituents? Um, like I said, before or during dinner hours tomorrow, we're going to be handing out flyers for the, yeah, so it's going to be PR there. And then also, we're going to be putting up t table tents, uh, endorsing or supporting whatever. President Wynn. Is the first year caucus like a USG banner to use for their table or painting or anything like that? Yeah, we would uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Representative Dorbeck. Would you maybe like to um, collaborate on those table tents and add like the other invo USC involvement during homecoming? Um, yeah, I'd have to refer you to Ellen, who's two seats away from you. Oh, okay. thumbs up on yeah. that. So yeah, okay, we can. Colleen? You might want to connect with the freshman class officers and see if they'd be willing to send out an email. Send that email. Okay, through they the list. They should okay. by now have a listing of all first years. Yeah, they do. They sent me an email today. Any other points for Representative Gallup? Parliamentary Baker. Does the speaker have any blue paint? 
Uh, yeah, I'd like to have my, my, have my face, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, any other caucus reports? Representative Fernandez. Uh, you might close your legs. I can see you from way back there. <laughs> anyway, last week the engineering caucus met at Fribley on Thursday, and we discussed some unfinished business from last year. And one of those were getting some aside for certain engineering courses, um, engineering 200, engineering 216. And also we talked about some, the Engineering Undergraduate Curriculum Committee who, um, there's some members in our um, caucus that we didn't know about and then we also went over what it is. We also talked about having a cornhole event with the staff and all the uh, faculty on Wednesday, October 27th. And we will have food and we will get every like faculty member or try at least to get as many as we can into these, to the, event. And I also emailed Dean Tian about this event and see if he would like to join us uh, with, the, uh, with the event. And he didn't reply yet, so I'm waiting on that. I'm open points. Representative Lupton. Yeah. So what is, this is a cornhole event, faculty and staff, students are going to participate. Uh, I guess what is the, are we taking any information? Are we, are we doing any surveys or is this strict, I mean, what exactly is this event to do? I don't think we're planning on getting any surveys, but we can. Um, we have surveys from last year that we haven't gone over. We were talking about those uh, SI sessions. Um, so this is more of a student faculty, student faculty get, together. get together and get involved and meet each other, kind of for students to get more familiar with the faculty. Okay. You were there, Representative Beckett. <laughs> um, just a point of clarification: it's not going to be on October 27th, but the date's coming soon. Oh. Any other points for Representative Fernandez? Okay, thank you. Are there any other caucus reports? Okay, seeing none, we'll expect a arts and sciences as well as a weatherhead and um, nursing caucus report next week, hopefully. And um, with that, we'll move into old business. 38, old business. It is a trick question. Vice President Hamilton. Uh, move to introduce Bill B20-01. Uh, move to take up from the table. I move to take out from the table. <laughs> Bill, yeah, or Bill, <laughs> D period, 20 <laughs> seconds. Second. Is there a speaker in the pro? Um, so we talked about this bill last week, and it's just um, a bill to recognize some groups that were not recognized last spring because um, students have come forward with new ideas. Um, they want to start a new group, um, and so our constitution, our bylaws, do allow us to do this. Um, this is just the formalized process of it. Um, open to points. Any points for Vice President Downey? Okay, seeing none, we'll move into two minutes of discussion on the bill. Representative Hoffman. Um, did Unicycling Club end up getting enough people? <laughs> Only a couple for a while. Any other points for discussion? Represent. Oh, I can't even remember. Sing. Okay. So it's now amended. Any other points for discussion? Representative Lupton. So what's the, what does it mean if the recognition expires? What, what does it mean? Uh, so it was October 42nd, so it's, it is for sure December 31st? Yeah. So what that just takes into account is that um, groups doing uh, mass funding, whatever, for next semester will still have to fill out the recognition forms in October but their current recognition will not run out until the end of this semester. Okay, which makes sense, so. Any other points for discussion? Vice President Agarwal. Uh, I think I mentioned this last week, but on the front under B-Resolve 1, allocation total is $28, as listed in the appendix A. Um, 
A. We are on bill B20-01. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Representative Lupton. Move to end discussion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor of ending discussion, please signify by raising your hand. All opposed? Abstentions? Okay, discussion is now over. You can entertain a motion to Representative Fernandez. Nope, not that one. President Wynn? Okay, so all in favor of General Assembly B20-01 as amended, please signify by raising your hand. All opposed? <laughs> Abstentions? Okay, B20-01 passes. Is there any other old business? Representative Fernandez. You could take it up from the table. Okay, is there a second? Okay, is there a speaker in the pro? All right. Um, again, this we talked about this last week, but this is just giving um, extra funding to groups that have asked for it through rolling funding process, um, as well as mass funding um, to um, pre-dental society. So open to points. Okay. Thank you, Vice. Oh, a point for this. Okay. Just to everybody, 628. Um, there's a separate document with the rest of the uh, approved amount that's not here. <laughs> That's, that's the mass funding for um, pre-dental, and it's an extra 10-page document. So out of paper conservation, it wasn't printed. But if you guys are interested, I can show you um, online if you're later if you want, or now. So. Any other points for the speaker? Thank you, Vice President Downey. Um, again, we'll have two minutes of discussion on the bill, yeah. if desired. <laughs> Representative Bagat. Call this question. Okay, um, we're now voting on Bill 20-02. Um, if you are in favor of Bill 20-02, please signify by raising your hand. All opposed? Abstentions? Um, the bill passes. Point of clarification. Um, so Colin just said, called a previous question, but the debate wasn't ended. Called a previous question simultaneously ends debate and takes you to a vote. How do I, uh, so I vote no if I wanted to keep talking. If I wanted to keep discussing, then I would need to vote no. Uh, because no one had discussed, it, it's you can only call the previous question automatically if there's really nothing going on. Um, so because there was really nothing going on, we called the previous question, which simultaneously ended discussion and moved us into a vote. So if there was any negativity in the room at all towards the bill, then you really can't call? Not really. Okay. It's, it would kind of like not, it would take away the vote of ending discussion, but because there was no discussion or debate on the bill, it's acceptable. Okay, thanks. The speaker can entertain the motion or they can deny the motion. Either discussion. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, so is there any other old business? Okay, seeing none, we're now in new business, um, which is the election of the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing representative. Um, so with that, we have one candidate present tonight. <coughs> um, are you on Lee? <laughs> okay. Um, so we'll give you 30 seconds to speak and address the General Assembly, um, and then we'll allow a minute and a half for questions. Yes, Representative Lupton. Yeah, can I move to close the nominations for nursing school? Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Got a little ahead of myself. Go ahead. Good evening. Um, my name is Yiwan Lee, and I'm a sophomore at the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. 
Um, I'm currently involved in um, Link, KSA, Koinonia, and um, Urban Elements. And I'm also taking um, uh, a play tell at CIM. And I would like to um, serve as the nursing representative. And I, um, my main, um, I guess, aspiration as a representative would be to more strongly um, bridge um, the um, communication between USG and the uh, students at the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. And um, I hope to um, inspire some more synergy. Um, I was in US, I was the class president um, of uh, 2013 last year at USNA, which is the um, one of the nursing um, governing bodies, and as well as the NSNA. And um, as I was serving as the class president there, I realized that um, a lot of the functions, events, and issues brought up um, by the treasurer, um, the presidents of each class, um, had to a lot to do with um, communication with USG and um, seeking some help from them and interacting with them. And so as the representative, I hope to be able to strongly um, from the bridge okay. between the two. Are there questions for Ms. Lee? Vice President Downey. Um, you said you're involved in a lot of groups, and it's great. Um, but what are your time commitments, and will you be able to, to commit to USG? Yes. Um, for Link, I'm the fundraising chair. And um, although I'm involved in a lot of events, um, I'm taking the 17 credit hours right now, and it's um, very manageable for me. So I think the time and commitment won't be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Vice President Hamilton. Uh, what committee would you like to serve on, and why? Um, the, I was only aware of the nursing caucus, okay. right? Yeah. Okay. Representative Fernandez. You mentioned here on your letter of intent that you plan on getting engaged with students, faculty, and UD. How are you trying to do that? Um, well, I'm not full. I haven't been in USD um, for very much, but. Um, uh, as I was um, president, like I hope to, um, I guess, speak with more of the representatives here and then bring up issues that the nursing students or the um, presidents or secretaries have. Um, I hope to discuss them here with um, the representatives of USG too. Thank you, Miss Lee. Um, if you could please step outside, we'll, just for a moment, and then we're going to go audio off, please.
Frances Payne Bolton School of Nursing Representative. <laughs> is there any other new business? I move to open nominations for the two vacancies in the College of Arts and Sciences. Um, that motion cannot be entertained because that must be done by a representative of the USG, Representative Brown. Motion to open nominations for the two vacancies in Arts and Sciences. Okay. Are there, Vice President Hamilton? Uh, who are the two people that uh, remove themselves? Representative Nathan Mikowski sent me an email and told me he would be stepping down because of time commitments. Uh, Representative Dennis Matthews had an attendance review and had a conflict with GAs, so he was also asked to leave. So with that, are there any nominations for the College of Arts and Sciences? Representative Sultan. Charlotte Green. Representative Lee. Representative Hoffman. Svetlana Volano. Representative Rudensic. Tom Kuzniar. Any other nominations at this time? Okay, those will remain open until next week. Um, please let your friends know if you nominated them. Um, tell them what the responsibilities are of the position. Um, and an email will go out to them. Is there any other new business? Okay, seeing none, we'll move into open forum. Representative Bagot, tonight we'll allow five minutes for open forum. Could you use your microphone, please? Oh, it worked. Okay, I thought it, something fell out. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, one thing I want to complain about is, I mean, uh, bring up is the sprinkler systems on North Side are inefficient. inefficient. Uh, case in point, there's a sprinkler across the street from Starbucks um, that all it does is points at the brick portion of the fence and sprays at it. Uh, and that's all it does. There's also one that's right by the Fiji house that just shoots up in the air. And yeah, and then there's also, uh, this one's for IT. Um, will the filer change also affect doc share? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. But I just want to clarify that. Um, I just want to clarify that. Filer is not being completely shut down in the near future. Um, as far as I'm aware, they're just shutting down new setups in the spring semester, <coughs> but there's no plans to dismantle current services available to tech. As a point of clarification for open forum, um, if you have an issue you'd like to discuss with the General Assembly, this is the absolutely the perfect venue for that. If you do have a random um, type complaint, an email may suit your needs better. Representative Zoltan, did you? I was just going to respond to his um, point. Um, you can email energyconservation at case.edu and they review those daily. They do water too? Yeah. Representative Shillow. I was wondering for uh, the trash with the silver spartan if we could get maybe a recycle bin outside or ha ask them about recycling those styrofoam containers. Vice President Downey. Um, so I'm not sure if this was a security alert or whatever, traffic alert, but I saw someone else got, um, another biker got hit um, outside of the Veal parking garage, right where that bell would be really helpful. So um, if that's being looked into. Representative Lee. I found that uh, photos of the tutors uh, sometimes cannot be open on the tutor track. Um, I think it's making trouble for the student who made uh, who met first time to meet with their tutors. Can we refer that issue to Vice President Hamilton to take up with ESS? Representative Lupton. Yeah. Hey, so question. I was trying to be sustainable this past weekend because uh, this whole new sustainability thing on campus. 
um, and I was eating like uh, a Snicker bar, and I wanted to, you know, is that recyclable? Like the the plastic wrapper? No. Can you recycle? No. So why can't we recycle everything? <laughs> Does anyone have a follow up to that question, <laughs> Vice President Downey? So the without going change. into a lot of detail, um, you have to have very specific facilities for different kinds, and so you can't just send recyclables out. They have to either go to a glass plant, styrofoam, um, PET, I mean, whatever. So there's very specific like ways to do each one, and some of them aren't um, manageable. Like you just can't do it. Um, so that's kind of the issue with that. A f easy way to remember the numbers that case recycles is that they are the prime numbers. One, three, and five. And that's apparently all Actually, that that's exactly what I wanted to know. Yep. <laughs> and two? Oh, okay. I don't know if we recycle two, though. I think I just remembered it as one, three, and five. Okay. Treasurer Moser. Um, I was just wondering about the logo on our uh, agendas. We have to really see case Does anyone have an answer to that? Vice President Agarwal? Well, this was always there, actually. In the back, it's been as noticeable as the printing of our agenda is very noticeable. Some extra toner. I actually did change it. Can you change it back? Representative Fernandez. Is that even the last year about the health care? How can we look at the whole at home? So the day when I was walking down the stairs, Vice President Agarwal. So two years ago, um, as I looked at today with uh, the Vice President um, RHA, uh, she actually mentioned this to me too as a concern for the elephant stairs. Two years ago, um, in a student-led committee, a resolution was passed about safety uh, for the elephant stairs um, with regards to not the roof, but the traction strips on the stairs. I believe there was also a resolution last year about the roof. There was, through, uh, written by our very own speaker about the roof. And um, so the traction strips were replaced, but clearly they are kind of getting messed up again. Uh, the roof, I never got a follow up on the roof, but I don't think it's a little bit of a problem. Okay, with that, that is time for open forum. Colleen? I just need feedback on something really important. <coughs> I don't want to wait for so if, how many of you are, okay, study over was switched, you know, when the, when the meeting day switched from two days in the fall to split, there was some question last year on the study over committee as to whether or not doing study over on Sunday would be better. So I would like to know whether or not you all feel that Sunday would work better because A, people do not go home, and that would be okay, or B, if they do go home during that weekend, We'll be back in time on that Sunday. So that's what I'm asking. It gives the committee a break so that they don't have finals the next day. HYO, one of our huge partners in volunteerism, they, you know, they wean down to one or two people at the end of the night because of the, the final schedule. So there's a lot of compelling reasons to go to Sunday for the fall, and I just need a feedback. I need feedback from you guys. So I need to show of hands how many of you think that moving to Sunday is a good thing. How many think staying on Monday is better? So stay on Monday. Okay, what would be the reasons to stay? Just very quickly, very quickly. Because finals are the next day, so that's what we're trying to avoid. I think you mix the voting for Monday with the I don't care vote. I think like. Did I? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. How many? Are Raise your hands very high. To moving it to Sunday. How many are in favor of keeping it on Monday? Okay, thank you. Any other feedback related to that? Vice President Bell. Um, talk about Twing Study Over, right? Uh, Twing Study Over is generally just like a fun break. So I feel like having it on Sunday would still give people that cram time the next day before exams start. Because I like everybody likes to just take a break from studying, get some refreshments, relax, etc. So having it on Sunday would probably look better. Representative Lupton. Yeah, how many students are actually done with finals before that Sunday? 
there are no finals before that Sunday, so no one. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Any other feedback for Colleen? Representative Beckett. Um, a lot of times they have review sessions that day, and so if you have a final in that class the next day, it doesn't give you a lot of time to go over what we talk about at the review session. So I think moving to Sunday would be really great. Representative Bagot. Aren't there like uh, camp fiestas or math uh, things going on in Twing, probably running into the start of Twing Study Over? And Vice President Downey? Yes, I don't think this goes that late. Okay. So. There's no conflict. Yeah. Math data currently scheduled for Monday. Any other points? Representative Lee. Um, plus, from last year, um, after the camp fiesta and the math, um, people tend to just to stay at KSL and they will just go to the study over right after. Okay, any other points? All right, seeing none, um, unless there is a motion to extend open forum. Representative Hoffman. Motion to extend open forum by one comment for me. Okay. Um, is there a second? Second. <laughs> okay. um, this is going off what Colin said. So not only helping the bell and the, the light, which is what helps like bikers or pedestrians, there's no sign facing the parking garage that says like, stop here because people just fly out of that parking garage and go right into turning out into the street instead of like they don't stop even though it's a law to stop at a crosswalk so having like lines says like stop student pedestrians or something like that like facing into the parking garage but i would be consistent i would have it at every garage on this campus because it's the same problem with lot 29 the campus center one so she's right everybody does which is why it's important to have that sign on there representative bagat um Parliamentarian, our viewers at home are interested in knowing whether or not you have a kilt in the school colors. Any other points for open forum? Okay, seeing none, we'll move into our advisor's report. Okay, how many of you have your notebook with you? Okay, if you do, turn to the page that speaks of the learning outcomes. If you don't, I got some extra, so I just wrote that in there. Learning outcomes, I don't want Okay, so for those of you who have heard this, this will be a refresher, but for those of you who are not, many years ago, I'll say now at least four, um, former members of USG as well as current members of USG assisted me in the development of these outcomes. And the intention of, the, of doing so was to create a set of skill sets that you all should be engaging in. It's similar to what you experience when you go into a classroom and a professor will give you what he or she feels are the intended outcomes of the class. When you put as much time as you do into this endeavor, you should yield skill sets. You should yield things that will further enhance and pro your professionalism as well as your personal de leadership development. So the organization, the, the folks who were involved in this, came up with the following outcomes. And you can read those all on your own. I don't need to cover any of them except to say that the reason you need to know these is it's multi-layered. The first and foremost reason is that it benefits you when you're able to communicate what exactly you did as a representative or perhaps as an executive leader. You have to be able to speak in a compelling language that helps you to be competitive in the workforce or perhaps in an interview for a graduate or professional experience. So to be able to say that you learned how to navigate a particular system is lovely, but to be able to be very specific and talk about the ability to communicate or to email professionally or to uh, create a business plan or um, any kind of plan of action that help to strategize, strategize a group of people. All of that is compelling and important. So these outcomes are used two ways. One is for you to use in an interview or to use when sharing at some juncture of your life what you actually did, what skill sets you developed. The second thing that we do with these is we assess your own leadership development, your own personal enhancement. We did that last uh, the last three years in the form of a survey and many of you will have remembered taking that we're not doing it this fall that was intentional we're doing it in the spring we're redesigning it a little bit so that it's more of a growth kind of continuum 
um, what it does is it measures your perceptions of your own strengths in all of these skill sets. So when you see that come out, and you'll hear more about it as I get closer to that, it'll be toward the end of your experience, and you'll be able to uh, share on a Likert scale where you feel you grow, you felt you grew in any of these skill sets. So that's something that will come up in probably early April. But the reason I, I really wanted to talk with you about this, and I would have talked with you about this at the retreat, so I'm really glad that I was able to do it at a meeting, um, is this is something that I know all of you value greatly, and um, especially those of you who are here for the long haul. You've been involved for a number of years, or you plan to be involved for a number of years. You really do have now a mechanism to um, evaluate your own growth. So read through these. Um, I, part of what I'd like to do this year as well is toward the end of the year is evaluate these and see if we're missing any. So I'm going to point that project to Mintree because he and his team will probably be interfacing with that quite a bit. So does anyone have any questions about this? Nope? Okay, good. So Keith. Yeah, I've got a question about doing the outcomes. Like we did surveys the past couple of years. Okay. Is there any way that maybe in the spring when we do it again, like people who have taken the test multiple times to see their results? Absolutely. We probably could easily pull that out of student voice. They keep a lot of archival information. That's a great idea, actually, for those of you who have done a number of these. And just so you know, Consistently, there's only been one area where students have perceived themselves weak, and that is, or where they would like to see, you know, uh, opportunities to strengthen the skill sets were in networking with faculty. So I'm sure that's no surprise. Um, and so we have intentionally, through my office and, and um, other ways, like the speed dating that was, you know, that's a clear op administrative speed dating, sorry, not speed dating, but <laughs> administrative speed dating, that will clearly help you in the long run in your ability to communicate with uh, administrators and whatnot. But we think we have to bump it up, up a notch, and maybe this is something Jared and I can talk with about the faculty relationships that you have. So anybody have any questions about this? Okay, great, thank you. Okay, with that, we're in announcements. Um, there were no announcements emailed to us, so if you have any, um, please keep them brief. Representative Gallo. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, remind everyone to come out Saturday, uh, mm -hmm. 11 to 12.30, get your face painted, meet everyone. Representative In. <laughs> President Wynn. Can I get an idea of where the sign-up sheets for the homecoming volunteers are? Oh, excellent. Has it made its way around? No. Okay. Well, I will be holding on to that, so if you could just pass it up to me, you guys can come up and sign up at the end of the uh, meeting. Representative Han. Um, if, you're in arts, if you're in the College of Arts and Science, there are two um, homecoming weekend activities that I sent you guys all an email about. Um, the alumni social is on Friday from 5.30 to 7.30 in Crawford Hall, and there's an alumni breakfast on Saturday, October the 2nd, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. in the alumni house. So if you're interested in attending, um, you don't have, if you're a freshman, you don't necessarily have to be declared arts and science if you're planning to declare arts and science. So just let me know by email if you're interested in attending either of those two events. Thanks. Representative Fernandez. Any other announcements? Vice President Maloney. I just have a question for the event on Friday. Is there a group present? And there's one there. Is there incentives? There are incentives. Representative Bagot. I move to adjourn. Second. Second. Sign up to volunteer for homecoming.